Section thirteen of Wessex Poems by Thomas Hardy. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. She to him, one through four. One. When you shall see me in the toils of time, my lauded beauties carried off from me, my eyes no longer stars as in their prime, my name forgot of maiden fair and free. When in your being heart concedes to mind, And judgment, though you scarce its process know, Recalls the excellencies I once enshrined, And you are irked that they have withered so. Remembering that with me lies not the blame, That sportsman time but rears his brood to kill, Knowing me in my soul the very same, One who would die to spare you touch of ill, Will you not grant to old affection's claim The hand of friendship down life's sunless hill? 2. Perhaps long hence when I have passed away Some other's feature, accent, thought like mine Will carry you back to what I used to say And bring some memory of your love's decline. Then you may pause a while and think, poor jade, and yield a sigh to me, as ample due, Not as the tittle of a debt unpaid To one who could resign her all to you. And thus reflecting, you will never see That your thin thought in two small words conveyed Was no such fleeting phantom thought to me, But the whole life wherein my part was played, And you, amid its fitful masquerade, a thought, as I in yours but seem to be. 3. I will be faithful to thee, I, I will, And death shall choose me with a wandering eye, That he did not discern and domicile, One his by right ever since that last good-bye. I have no care for friends or kin or prime of manhood Who deal gently with me here, Amid the happy people of my time, Who work their love's fulfilment I appear, Numb as a vein that cankers on its point, True to the winds that kissed ere canker came, Despised by souls of now, Who would disjoint the mind from memory, And make life all aim. My old dexterities of hue quite gone, And nothing left, for love to look upon. 4. This love puts all humanity from me. I can but maledict her, pray her dead, For giving love and getting love of thee, Feeding a heart that else mine own had fed. How much I love I know not, life not known, Save as some unit I would add love by, but this I know, my being is but thine own, Fused from its separateness by ecstasy. And thus I grasp thy amplitudes, Of her ungrasped, though helped by the nigh-regarding eyes. Canst thou then hate me as an envier, Who see unwrecked what I so dearly prize? Believe me, lost one, love is lovelier the more it shapes its moan in selfish wise. 1866 End of section 13